We got some up, upsetting news earlier today. Pete Wilk, the head coach of the Vermont Lake Monsters the past two seasons, died from brain cancer. He was 59 years old. NBC5's Noah Searson is here to tell us more about his life. Noah? Liz Bryan, Pete had baseball in his DNA, making a name for himself as Georgetown's head coach, amassing 426 wins over the course of 21 seasons with the Hoyas to become the winningest coach in program history. But in recent years, he took on a new challenge and helped usher Vermont into a new era of the Green Mountain State's baseball history. Now, a little history lesson when the Lake Monsters lost their affiliation with the Oakland Athletics, the livelihood of those who worked with the organization hung in the balance. But Vermont was able to secure a spot in the Futures League, naming Wilk its head coach. Not only did he establish a winning culture, taking home a championship and two manager of the year awards, but he also, along with his wife and two daughters, ensured baseball wouldn't leave Burlington and he wouldn't leave it either as he returned last summer despite battling a glioblastoma diagnosis. Wilk was 59. The Essex community also mourning a loss after the school district announced today. Hornets head softball coach and middle school athletic director Chris Baker passed away suddenly. So softball, baseball, and the overall sports community locally losing a pair of coaches, leaders, and community members today. Brian?